Hey family, it's your boy Ja Love. What's up you guys, it's your boy Chaos Talks. Hey, it's Joan Zhu. And I'm super excited to be part of the Smash Project, sponsored by Counter Lords to talk about prep, sex, how I like to get flipped, rubbed down, and dig down. So I wanna talk about the stigmatization, right? As an HIV positive person, I feel the stigma, not even talking about my HIV. I just feel the stigma of being a black gay man living in America. And then adding on top of that, that I'm HIV positive. I've had plenty of guys that stopped talking to me, stop wanting to deal with me or even have sex with me because I said I'm HIV positive. So I'm happy at the fact that when talking about my HIV status and that I'm undetectable, that we can also have conversations I can flip the script in a narrative like, and are you on prep? And what are you doing to make sure that you're staying negative? Um, and it helps with the dialogue because now I'm just not the only topic of discussion. I feel like people are always trying to make you feel bad for something. They mm -hmm. always hate. Mm -hmm. Oh, you got HIV, you nasty. Oh, you want prep, you fuck a lot. I do. And right. it's good because I'm taking control over my body. Whether that me being positive, I'm going to the doctor, I'm on my meds, I'm still fucking good. Whether I'm on Period. rap, mm -hmm. I'm still fucking good. And I feel like there is so much control that you have when you say, you know what, I do want to have a lot of sex, but I do want to protect myself. Don't let anyone make you feel bad about that. No, I totally agree. Um, yeah, I think there needs to be less stigma on prep, on being paused. Like, fuck that shit. We're in a new generation. It's 2022, and there's no fucking shame in being a slut or being a whore or having a shit ton of sex. Like, we're all having fun and living our lives, so it doesn't fucking matter. There's bigger problems in this world than who you decide to put your dick in. And I think I think if we just talk about everyone taking sole responsibility for their health, right? If I'm on my medication and I'm maintaining an undetectable viral load, which means that I cannot transmit HIV to my partner sexually, and you're on your PrEP, and you are protecting yourself, which means that you cannot contract HIV, why is there still this stigma? Like, I think people need to get out of their way, get out of their head, stop listening to people or letting the world make an opinion about you and live your life. Yeah, you definitely live your life. So let me say about living your life because I'm from Detroit, but I live in New York. But last summer, it was different. So I don't even know how I'm here because this dude literally ate me up. Like, I don't, I don't even know if I'm really here right now. He fell in you love. Did. No, so I had came to New York for a party. Boom. Mm. Definitely jumped on Jack to see who was all here, what they was looking like. Mm. My phone was just buzzing and buzzing. I'm like, who is hitting me? What's Stand going there. on? <laughs> so I'm looking. I'm like, let me see what's going on. But he wouldn't send me a picture. But he mm -hmm. FaceTimed me. He was like, you know, what's up? Da -da -da. He was looking good. It was giving bone thugs and harmony, light skin, pink <laughs> lips. I'm like, okay, we can get into some things. Really what's um, so then, then he was like, I'm going to send you a car. So mind you, I'm not from New York, so I didn't want to catch the train. Then was some magical words. You going to send a car? He got money. Okay, go. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> so he sent the car. I get there. The apartment nice. Because you know the apartment's in New York real small. I'm like, okay, it's really mm -hmm. nice in here. Cool. Mm -hmm. But he kept telling me to be quiet. I'm like, I'm about to get naked because I don't know him. I'm just trying to get out. I got to get ready. Like, mm -hmm. I then came straight to him. I get naked. He eating me. Boom. I'm like, yo, this is different. Then he was, he was trying to slide in, no comment. We didn't even talk about nothing. We didn't say nothing. I'm like, what's going on? But this was where the control came in. This is where the liberation came in. He was like, I'm on prep. And he said it with such confidence because he had control over his sexual health himself. He didn't care about nothing I had going on because he was taking care of himself. And that type of control and that confidence, I feel like prep brings that in. I feel like right. being undetectable brings that in. Make sure that if you are playing like that, if you are playing like that, because PrEP only protects from HIV. Mm -hmm. right. If you're undetectable, you still can, you know, you still can contract other, you know, STIs. Mm -hmm. So if you a real one, because I'm built different, if I know it's going to be a certain type of weekend, I'm going to the doctor and I'm setting up my appointment before I even go to the thing. That's me. That's my business. And it's not like it needs to always be a wild night. We just want to have this organic conversation because mm -hmm. this is how it goes. And I feel like people aren't being real. They're not being transparent about how this stuff really goes. So it's right. not like, oh, we're wild. We're, we're getting STIs and it's that type of thing. It's like, this shit happens. Keep Sex it real. Happens. Mm -hmm. This happens. So just right. take control of it. Stop yeah. being scary. Oh, I'm not going to go to the doctor. You stay near Bernie. You ain't going to tell nobody. I'm just saying, <laughs> right. go to the doctor and right. grow up. Right. 
No stigma behind it. It's totally no fine. Mm. And me and my friends have a joke about it. Like, it's if we get something, it's like we laugh about it. Like, ah. Right. <laughs> and don't self-diagnose yeah, yourself. Like, stop. Me, search versus research. Don't do some research and feel like you have these symptoms and then say, clearly, that's what it is. No. <laughs> Only way for you to know is right. to go to your doctor. Unless get you got the leakage, then it's probably gonna. <laughs> My friends call me all the time because I do like a lot of testing. Like, I think mm. I got something, I got that. I think you should go to the doctor. Because mm. you can't diagnose yourselves. Y'all be on Google wild and like right. yeah. I think it's just go to the right. doctor and see get the test I know right. you're scared but it'd be better if you go get tested yeah cause they know for sure for sure take care of it as soon as you can mm -hmm. the sooner the better right if you didn't take anything out of this just feel liberated but like you're in control, have agency over your body. Like if you want to be on prep, be on prep. If you got HIV, become undetectable. If you don't learn nothing else, be a freak and be fluent. Do you? Thank y'all so much for watching.